Let's take a look at whether PBS is soluble or insoluble, and we're talking about in water. This is lead to sulfide. We know that it's lead to sulfide because sulfur, that forms ions that are two minus, so the lead has to be two plus. So we're dealing with lead to sulfide here. If we look at this brief list of solubility rules, I don't see anything about the sulfides here. I do see that lead is often insoluble, but nothing about sulfides. So let's take a look at another rule that we could add, and that's that the sulfides of all metals are insoluble with some exceptions like potassium, sodium, and ammonium sulfide, and then some of these other ones are sparingly soluble, just slightly soluble. But since lead's not on our list, we can say that PBS is insoluble in water. But let's look at a solubility chart just to double check. So this is a portion of a larger solubility chart. There's a link in the description of this video to the whole table. We find lead two, so there's our lead two, and we're looking for sulfide, that's right here. So we go over, and then we go up, and we have this I. That stands for insoluble. So just like the solubility rule here, we can say that lead two sulfide is insoluble. When we put it in water, it won't dissolve. We should clarify that a very, very small amount of lead to sulfide will dissolve when we put it in water, but almost all of it will not. This is Dr. B discussing whether PBS is soluble or insoluble. It is insoluble in water. Thanks for watching.